the lights are in my eyes, so I really can't see you too well, which is a good thing. So, okay, what do I do? Uh, my name's Jeffrey Cox. I own a small company called No Joke Special Effects, uh, and I do practical special effects. Practical special effects uh, as opposed to digital effects. Everything I do is real and takes place on set and live action. Uh, some, for example, uh, I have a federal explosive license. I do pyrotechnics. Uh, we build miniatures, models, uh, squibs, gun handling. Um, did I say prosthetics? Uh, fake heads and arms and legs and things like that. Um, uh, what I, the job that I do is really simple applied physics. I'm one of those few people in the world that uh, high school physics actually meant something. Um, one of the, uh, I'm very fortunate that I was born with both, both a creative aesthetic ability and mechanical ability, which is often uh, two conflicting sides. Um, and this really enables me to, to communicate creatively with writers and directors. I will get a script, I'll read through it. Uh, first thing I say is you've got $500,000 worth of special effects in your million dollar film. You need to do some rewrites. Um, but then well, my job is to take the aesthetic vision and figure out how we're going to do that. How are we going to mechanically achieve these effects? Um, and it is, it is truly just simple applied physics. And I'll give you an example. Uh, do you guys remember on the Sixth Sense uh, when Haley Joel's handprint evaporated? Anybody remember that? It was the same scene where all the cabinet doors were left open. He gets up from the uh, kitchen table and he leaves two handprints on the table and they evaporate before your eyes. Um, we did that as a practical effect as opposed to a digital effect. And uh, it was just simple applied physics. Uh, we, we knew we had to have the table cold so the moist, uh, moisture in his hand would condense on the table but we also knew that the air had to be dry so that when he removed his hand, it would quickly dry and evaporate away. And we also put his hand in a steamer so it was it had plenty of moisture on it. So it's, uh, that, that's an example of, you know, we'll take the creative vision and then figure out what laws of physics apply and, uh, and, and try to make it happen. Um, one of the things that we, then the first conversations with directors uh, that I do have, um, it, it, it's getting more difficult because the director will go see a $200 million movie and then wonder why he can't have the same thing on his $5 million movie. Um, and and a, another thing that um, a lot of people don't realize is we are bound by the same laws of physics as the rest of the world. Um, we just have to, um, everything we do is fake. Uh, we're not really magic, although we try to create that appearance. And I have had people ask me, is the fire hot? Um, if, if, if I can crack that one, I'm, I'm gonna be a very wealthy person, but the fire is hot and it will burn you and me and everything else around. Um, what's important? Um, Safety is very, very important. Um, if I mess up, people could die. Uh, and that, that's a heavy, heavy responsibility. Um, the fun days for me is when I'm in a field with a couple of guys and we're testing explosives and you know, we can do whatever we want. Um, but when, when you're, uh, you know, it is a fun job and I love what I do, but when you're on set and you, uh, you're firing blank guns or blowing something up or you have a soldier running across a landmine and if you set it off at the wrong time, he's potentially losing a leg, uh, you get very, very focused and very, very serious at those times. Um, and as actors out there, um, it's very important for you to remember um, in, in my contracts, when I get hired, I do have a line that says that I have the right to stop production if, it's, uh, if I see an unsafe event and we don't continue until the safety improves. But as actors, you need to be, um, just because I'm there or just because the stunt coordinator is there with you, use your own judgment, excuse me, use your own judgment. Um, 
if you think it's not safe, ask all the questions in the world. And a good special effects guy or stunt guy will tell you exactly what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, and what you need to do. Um, and most of the time we will have stunt actors doing it, but a lot of you may move into that. Uh, things as simple as a fall or a trip or something uh, you know, can, can, can potentially be hazardous. But use your own judgment, and if you see something that doesn't look right, you know, speak up. Definitely speak up. Um, let me see what else I have here. Art and mechanical ability. That, that, I, I, let me get back to that. That, that is something that's, uh, that's, that's very important in my field. Uh, and again, I'm very fortunate to have both the aesthetic ability and the, uh, the mechanical ability. Um, and the, let me go through the procedure. What, what will happen is uh, I, I, I will get a phone call. They'll give me the screenplay. I will break down the screenplay. Uh, I will go in and meet with the director, and the director and producer uh, will tell me, um, you know, this is what we would like to see. Uh, and a lot of times, a, a, a good director um, will be open-minded to the best way we can achieve these effects cost, uh, cost effectively. Um, the f strange thing about special effects is, um, the budget of a special effect, um, it's not necessarily what you think it is. Uh, sometimes a really big effect, a seemingly really big effect, is very inexpensive to produce. Uh, sometimes some of the simplest effects are very, very expensive. So I'll have a long conversation with the directors and producers about bang for the buck. This is, you know, if we do it this way, you get more show and you get a bigger impact. Um, and it actually cost you uh, less money. And then from there, we, uh, you know, we, we, sometimes there's script rewrites, sometimes there's storyboards drawn up on, you know, how are we actually going to achieve this effect? Um, and then we we shoot it. We shoot it. Uh, and they are there are fun days. There's uh, there's days where you're you're blowing up zombies and uh, and uh, you know. And then there's days where you're. Uh, for instance, I, uh, a few weeks ago, I was working on a commercial, and uh, we needed a special effect door. And it was a very big, oversized door, and it was a, a whole lot of work, and the door simply needed to fall down. And after 18 hours of work in the shop, we look at it, and we say, wow, we made a door. So it's, it's, uh, it's not always that special. Uh, but uh, but I do enjoy my job. Uh, one of the best things about it is I've really never done the same thing twice. And if I've done the same thing twice, I always look for a different or better way to do it. Uh, uh, and that's that's what I that's what just keeps me alive. I just uh, I have a short attention span, and if I'm not always doing something new and different, uh, I get very bored very quickly. But uh, I, that's all I've got for you, and. Uh, Let's see. We've used a lot of film, but have we made a movie? Only the shadow knows. And he carries the title of editor. And today, that's your job, Matt Shapiro.